Top 20 Information Security Analyst Interview Questions and Answers Two distinguishing elements will be the subject of information security interview questions. These are tests to see if you know what you're talking about and can explain it. Some questions will focus on simple concepts, such as firewalls and the CIA triad. Others will force you to apply your knowledge to real-life situations. Here are some of the most frequently asked top 20 information security analyst interview questions and answers. 1. Why are you interested in this role? Your interviewee wants to know that how much you are interested in the role and why. The key information that is required by the interviewee over here is to determine the level of your interest and how much you are passionate about the job. Sample answer. From the start, I was interested in cybersecurity and security-related jobs, and that is the reason that I continued my studies in the field of information security. I'm interested in this role as it completely suits me and my past education supports me to start this career as the only career in my life. 2. What are the roles of information security analyst? Here, interviewee wants to know and analyze your knowledge regarding to the subject and the field. The interviewee wants you to be concise over here and answer in just a few words. Sample answer. Information security analyst plans and carries out security steps to protect an organization's computer networks and systems. Most of the information security analysts work for computer companies, consulting firms or business and financial companies to protect their important data. 3. What are the qualities that an information security analyst need to be successful? The main purpose of this question is to know the most demanding skill sets that should be there in an information security analyst and few things related to routine such as punctuality and dedication. Sample answer. A person who is interested in security analyst career should have strong data analysis skills, solid sense of logic, ingenuity, skilled problem solver, and orientation to detail. Other than that, he should be punctual and think things logically to make a way out of the problem. 4. What major challenges did you face during your last role? How did you manage them? If you joined any previous job, then the interviewee over here wants to know that what were the few challenges that you must have faced, of course. And whenever we join any job, there are a few challenges that we face and that's what interviewee wants to know. Try to be more general over here, as if you'll say that I did not understand the work then of course, you'll be out in few minutes. Sample answer. The major challenge that I faced during my last job as an information security analyst was to manage work with teams because transferring them the data and making them understand about the work was a little bit time taking and due to that other tasks became tough for me to manage but somehow it took a little bit effort and time and then I got the pace and managed the time and the work together. 5. Describe your daily routine as an information security analyst. Here is room for relaxment, but not that much. Interviewee here wants to know that what you generally do in the entire day so that he or she can get an idea that you are currently on any task or not or are you staying in touch with the field. Sample answer. I normally wake up early in the morning so that I can align my extra outdoor activities and work accordingly. I am currently with a firm that is outsourcing its security-related tasks, so first thing that I do in the morning is to check my mail and open up the security panel from where I can see the progress and manage the work. 6. Describe briefly about your experience. Interviewee wants to know everything related to your experience in the field of security analyst career. You can include everything over here, from your education to your final year project, and then any job or freelancing work if done to show your exact experience. Try to be honest over here. Sample answer. First of all, I would like to say over here that I graduated as an information security analyst from XYZ University, which means that I have a degree related to cybersecurity and computer sciences. My final year project was related to cybersecurity where me and my team had to counter and detect the attacks made by a group of hackers and to our security systems. This project lead my experience towards information security analyst and recently I was hired by a security firm where I had to provide similar kinds of services. 7. What kind of strategies and mindset is required for this role? Interview wants to know over here that what are goals and normal duty tasks that information security analyst normally performs, and what are the core skills and mindset that information security analyst usually has? Sample answer. Information security analyst usually needs to be active as any time or any second of the day. Any threat can shut down the entire system. So he needs to be active towards the screen and constantly observe for any threats entering into the system. The strategies the information security analyst 
usually encompasses monitoring the system for possible threats, building the framework to pre-counter them and save the system, staying active, and requesting fellow team members to self-breach the security systems to make the firewalls more better and more stronger. 8. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? The interviewers want to know that are there any challenges that you foresee in the security analyst career, and they also want to know how confident you are and if you have any skill-related issues or not, because hiring an amateur security analyst can risk their entire organization. So try to be confident over here, and most importantly don't lie over here, as it can ruin your career, as well as their organization. Sample answer. The biggest challenge that I foresee in this job is, of course, understanding the workflow in the start. I have complete grip over the security-related skills, but still, understanding the organization's structure and the working environment is something that takes time and affects quality of work as well. As I will move along with the structure and the environment, I will get used to it and perform better. 9. How do you stay motivated in your work? The answer over here will show the interest for the field. More the interest, more energized answer, and the more it will show that you are motivated for the work. Try to give your best over here in a general form, of course. Sample answer. This field inspires me from the start. I selected computer sciences because I like to spend my time in front of my laptop or desktop. It is a drive from my inside that keeps me motivated and the basic concepts and knowledge that I have command on makes the things easier for me. So, this is the only thing that keeps me motivated and I think now, many of the general issues that normally arise during this field, I know all of them. 10. Describe a time when you failed in this role and the lesson you learned. Everyone fails. Failing is not an issue, but not learning anything from it is an issue. So interviewer wants to know that when did you fail and what did you learn from it, so that you never repeat that thing in their organization. Sample answer. Of course, everyone fails and again and again as well. But I remember once I failed in this career, when I had a code written for me after doing lots of research, and without making up the backup for it. I simply changed it to counter another threat, which took another few days for me to write down the exact code again along with the research. This result in delay in my performance was also compromised, so I learned from it that whatever you do, make a copy of. 11. Why do you feel you are the most suited for this role? Tell more about your skills, educational background, and experience over here. Your interest and motivation also plays a huge role, so try to state these things as this will make you best choice for the role. Sample answer. My educational background, certificates, experience in the practical field and interest. All these things make me the best choice for this role. If you have interest, you gradually build skill in it and make the things working out for you. The most important thing is passion, and I am very concerned about this job and I have skills for this job as well. So this is why I am pretty much, like confident you can say, that I am the best suit for this job. 12. Share with us your greatest achievement. Share your past experiences over here, your certificates, degree, feedbacks from the clients, and other services that you have offered till now. It will be a good thing to submit all these things at this stage. Sample answer, my greatest achievement is my progress in my last job and my final year project, as well as few certificates that I got in the few past years. We made a virus that we tried to put it into our systems via hacking and the firewall that we created, successfully stopped it from entering into our security systems, and at that time everyone was clapping. I think that was one of the biggest moment that I noticed in my life. 13. What is cryptography? It is a technical question so interviewer over here wants to know your knowledge. Be precise and give answer in few lines. Sample answer. Cryptography is the discipline and study of ways for securing information and communication, with the goal of protecting data from third parties who aren't supposed to have access to it. 14. What is the difference between IDS and IPS? Simply define the definitions over here and don't go into the details. Make it concise. Sample answer. IDS stands for Intrusion Detection System, and it merely detects intrusions, leaving the administrator to deal with the prevention. In contrast, in an IPS or Intrusion Prevention System, the system detects the intrusion and takes action to prevent it. 15. How is encryption different from hashing? Encryption and hashing are the ways to encrypt the data and protect it. Give the definition of the both. Sample answer. To turn readable data into an unreadable format, both encryption and hashing are employed. The distinction is that encrypted data can be decrypted and converted back to original data, whereas hash data cannot be converted back to its original form. 16. 
What is NSTISSC Security Model? The NSTISSC is a national security telecommunication document that defines a model of information security. So the precise answer to this question will be, sample answer. This is a reference to the document titled, The National Security Telecommunications and Information Systems Security Committee. This document lays forth a thorough information security model. There are three dimensions to this model. 17. What's the difference between symmetric and public key cryptography? This question will be normally asked for the positions of GRC consultant, SOC analyst, cloud security architect, and data protection officer. You should have an understanding of cryptography to explain this concept. The best answer to this question is, sample answer. A shared key between two parties is used in symmetric key cryptography. Asymmetric key cryptography employs a public-private key pair, with one key encrypting, and the other decrypting data. 18. Which types of encryption does symmetric key encryption use? There are basically two types of symmetric key encryption. Define both. Sample answer. One of the following encryption types are used in symmetric key encryption. 1. Stream ciphers encrypt a message digits, usually bytes or letters, in substitution ciphers, one by one. 2. Block ciphers encrypts a group of bits as a single unit and then adds the plain text to make the total size of the block a multiple of the block size. 64-bit blocks were regularly utilized. The Advanced Encryption Standard ADS, algorithm, which was authorized by the National Institute of Standards and Technology in December 2001, and the GCM block cipher mode of operation both use 128-bit blocks. 19. What are three ways to authenticate someone? There are three types to authenticate someone. Define each of them over here. Sample answer. Something you know, something you have, and something you are the three sorts of authentication factors. A password, a PIN, or the answers to a security question are all examples of something you know. This is one of the most prevalent methods for users to obtain access to their accounts. An authenticating device, such as an ID card or a cell phone, is something you have. Biometric information is something you are. A fingerprint, a voice password, or a signature can all be used. This type of authentication is more difficult to obtain off-site, but it is also the most difficult to forge. When you utilize two of these ways to access an account, it's known as two-factor authentication. To log in, a user may be required to input their password and then a code text it to their phone. When all three methods are used, it is called multi-factor authentication. 20. What is the difference between data protection in transit and data protection at rest? Sample answer. Data protection at rest refers to the securing of data while it is in storage. Attackers can access this data if they get physical or digital access to the storage device on which it is stored. Data protection in transit refers to the security of data sent via a network, such as the Internet. Security measures such as firewalls and network access control helps to protect both of these sorts of data. Both forms of data should be encrypted as well. If an attacker gains access, they will be unable to read the data unless they break the encryption. Conclusion Information security analyst is not an easy position. It involves lots of technical aspects, and having knowledge of each of the technical code is essential. Many people think that they can be hired for this position, but this is not the case. The position requires a lot of knowledge, skills, expertise, and experience. Here were the top 20 information security analyst interview questions and answers to get you prepared for the interview. If you are applying for this position, then we wish you good luck for it, and do let us know in the comment how your interview went.